So we all know what a challenge it is to lose weight. And if you're not dieting, like extreme diets, to lose the weight, when you start eating normally again, you gain everything back again. And it's very, very challenging to lose the weight permanently. So where I am now, I've lost seven kilos in the last month and a half, which is about 15 and a half pounds. And that's just due to cutting salt out of my diet. Now, high salt intake, everybody probably goes over their, their daily allowance for salt because we're not checking how much salt we're taking in. And I never checked how much salt I was taking in either uh, until I got the heat stroke. So by cutting salt out, it's not just the salt that's helping you lose weight. It's the amount of salt that's in all the foods that we're eating through the day. So whether it's processed meats, uh, microwavable dinners, anything that's pre-packaged or in tins and made to last long, chances are there's a high content of salt. So the daily allowance for salt is 2,300 milligrams. When you break down the foods, you'll actually find that you're eating a lot more salt and it's really not good for your heart, your kidneys, your veins or arteries. Everything has to work a whole lot harder. So starting to eat a little bit more healthy really isn't that difficult. All you have to do is check your labels, check the salt content, and if you having something that's got a high salt content, say it's got 500 or 600 milligrams of salt, then you know that you've only got 1,500 left, and whatever you eat the rest of the day, you've got to limit your salt intake. So things like crisps, a bag of crisps has about 600 milligrams of salt, so that's way too high to have that. It's also got a lot of trans fat, a lot of saturated fat, crisps, crackers, You'll find that a lot of things that you're probably eating as snacks on a regular basis have a high salt content. Now your body craves that salt sometimes and you have to have a little bit of salt because your body functions with salt. All your nerves need salt to, to function. So if your salt drops too low or you become dehydrated, you need electrolytes that has the salt in it to, to regain your salt content. But the amount of salt that the average person eats on a daily basis is way too high. And just by checking what you're eating, you'll see that a lot of things that you reach for in the cupboard, if you've got like tin tomatoes even, sometimes if it's got a certain spice with it, or like a homemade sauce, or you're eating something that's prepared and it's got extra sauce or whatever it is, you'll find that it's got a very, very high salt content. So just stay away from things like that. Limit those kind of things. Eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. So it's really, really simple actually. My daily diet, I change it up a lot, but on an average day, I'll have fruits and vegetables. I'll have fruit for breakfast. I'll have blueberries with strawberries and a bit of yogurt and honey. Then for lunch, I'll have a tuna salad. And in between, I might have a protein bar or a protein shake, or I'll have an apple with some cinnamon on it. You can even have carrots. Just as a snack, you can slice them up. There's a lot of different things that you can do with fresh fruits and vegetables in the day and you can just mix it up so if you don't feel like something one day if i don't feel like tuna salad i'll make myself a chicken breast and i'll put some salad with that and you can make your own vinaigrette with a low sodium mustard and apple cider vinegar so you'll find that you have a lot more energy eating this way because you'll be having a lot more fresh whole foods a lot of nuts a lot of fresh vegetables and fruits which really help you. I wake up every day and I feel energized and I haven't felt that way in a long time. So it's not that difficult. Just read the labels, write down in the beginning what you're eating, check the label of what you're eating or put it into your phone. A lot of the phones uh, have tracking software now that you can add the food and will tell you how much sodium is in that food. So just research everything that you eat through the day and make sure that you don't go over 2,300 milligrams and you'll find that you can eat a lot more salads and things and with your own vinaigrettes and own dressings um, don't add the shop bought uh, vinaigrettes or dressings because they contain a lot of salt so just make your own sauces your own hot sauces use fresh chilies there's a lot of things that you can do to really amplify the food and make it so that it tastes like it's got salt in but it doesn't really have anything in and making everything at home making it yourself is also a key because going to a restaurant you don't know what they're putting into it and chances are that they're putting a lot of salt in to get that flavor out of it. So cook your meals, but it's really, really simple. Just make sure that you don't go over the 2,300 milligrams and you'll find that your health improves as well as the weight starts dropping off, even though you're eating a little bit more. You can have more salads with your fish or your chicken. 
and uh, you'll feel a lot better. So give this a try. Let me know in the comments down below if you're trying it and uh, you, what your results are after a few weeks. And I'll see you guys soon.